Radio Shouty. Talk to me about that because having a name like the Wu Tang and then going over there with them Asian folks getting oh. busy. I mean, what was that experience that, like? That, that first experience. And then y'all being black at the same time. I just got to throw that out there. Oh, that was like being an alien on another planet, tell you the <laughs> truth. Because you out there, nothing but Japanese. And sprinkle a little black over here. China, Japanese kids looking at you like you're a, like you a monument. Ooh. They can't believe it. Like, that's crazy. I mean, little babies looking at you screaming like this. Yeah, yeah. Like, like looking at you at all. We ain't like, never seen yeah, that. Yeah, we before. ain't never seen that. Yeah. That's a giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> is that a giraffe? Dad, is that a giraffe? No, that's a black man. See the- <laughs> 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 now, maintaining your humility during all this time, no God. What was going through your mind? Because you're coming from the streets. Now, you know them streets circumferences are very small and ignorant sometimes. Now you've been exposed to the world and your mind getting blown, man. How did you maintain your humility and how did that affect you? My mind never get blown. Mm. I got my freedom taken from me. That's a that's a reality check in, yeah. in itself. That will that will make you if you got if I if I got incarcerated and got a billion dollars, yeah, I still won't change because I know what it feels like to be down there in the pits of hell. And you when you incarcerated, you come home. Yeah. You respect the smallest shit. I mean, like, the, a woman's touch. Yeah. You respect just to go to the damn store. <laughs> you respect that little steak on your table, that steak. Oh, that steak was good. Yeah. You respect your bed. You respect, you know what I mean? You yeah. respect just to get in your car and bounce around a corner. Mm-hmm. You All that stuff is taken for granted. You know what I mean? Our yeah. freedom's taken for granted. That's why I, I would rather be broke out here in the world than being incarcerated. Man. Exactly. And, and then there were a hundred dudes complaining about their wife cheating on them and, and niggas blowing each other for the phone yeah. and fighting and stabbing each other over sneakers and dumb and Jack Mac and, 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 and food and, yeah. and just worrying about dumb shit. What was going through your mind when you found yourself in the pit of hell, man? And you was thinking to yourself, life has to be better than this, but then when you go back out there in the streets, you cut up again and wind up back there. Oh man, my mind was I was I was I was a, I was a little maniac, man. It was a, it was a it's a level of thought yeah. that you don't really even know that you even, you think it's all right. See, we conditioned in them little neighborhood situations to believe that that's okay. Yeah, it was okay for me carrying them guns. Yeah, it's okay for me to back out and pull out on my own people and be like, yo, man, shut up, nigga, let me get that. Yeah, or you know, and it just and just take my frustration out on my own people mm-hmm. and not protect my own people. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that's the difference between whites and blacks. Yeah. White people, they protect their own kind, B. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna let certain things happen to their own kind. We just turn our back on them. Like, you know, good luck. Dude, good luck. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, that's, and that, that has to change, man, with, exactly. with ourselves. And if we can just do that, a lot of the violence will cease. You'll okay. see, you'll see it. Sometimes the dude with the violence, he just wants some clarity. He just wants some understanding of yeah. what happened. Like, you know what I mean? It, it'd be over. Sometimes I'd be like, dog, you, you was arguing over that? Yeah. Hello, you mean to tell me y'all dudes started blowing hammers at each other for that dumb shit? And y'all couldn't talk it out? There's no mediator between y'all? You fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga, yeah. fuck that nigga, fuck that nigga. Why? What's for? Over a bitch? Over money? Nine out of ten times, probably most likely. Or you just don't like him because he's a, he's a he know how to get his up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know how to get yours up. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know how to get yours up, ask a brother. Learn. Come on now. Be somebody's student. Learn. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong. If you see somebody jingling and he look like he getting it. Yeah. Yo, Triple OG, how you doing that? Come on. Teach me. What happened to that? Arrogance. We're too arrogant to ask anybody for help because we think we know it all. A lot of times I try to give game to folks that tell me they already got it when I know damn well they don't have it. And I'm like, hey, man, if you had it, you wouldn't be at, you wouldn't be looking stupid right now, man. That's right. So just listen to what I'm trying to tell you so you can go ahead and get over that hump. But I think it's the arrogance and the ego that causes folks to. But ego you know, leave you broke. Ego leave you broke and mess up doing some shit that you ain't supposed to be doing. Ain't nothing wrong. But see, when I grew up, yeah, you needed a mentor. In the five percent nation, you needed a, you needed an enlightener. It's called an enlightener. Yeah, and he would sit you down and give you degrees, and you couldn't get all the degrees at once. Mm-hmm. 
you got one page and you mastered that one page and then you moved on to the next mm -hmm. and then you moved on to the next. And before you know it, you had the whole 120 in your brain and you was, and you was complete exactly. and he gave you your name and your name fit your character, who you was. Yeah. That's why my name is Universal because mm. I'm able to do a lot of things. That's I'm dope. infinite. I'm infinite in all my things. And I was given that name at, at, at 15, 14 years old. So at 15 and 14 years old, I was looking for knowledge. Mm. I was looking for somebody to get up under and teach me something. Exactly. Because at that age, I didn't know nothing. That's right. And I knew I didn't know nothing. Because I seen other little dudes running around here. I seen him. I seen dudes running around. I said, yo, even, even, though, I, even though I got street poison, mm -hmm. you know, I got, I got pulled into the life. Of course. I still got trained by the best drug dealers that was out there. Exactly. <laughs> The best. Come on. Because them niggas, yo, how you do that? Yes, you red man. Let me give me a show. Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you what that is. Wow, you see that thing there? That's a kilo. That man thing, that's 18 G. Woo. That's what that do. This is what you're doing, is it? Drop the whole joint in the bullet. Blue, blue, blue. He cook it up. <laughs> Splash it right in front of my face. I'm oh. like, God damn it. That's how you do it? Yeah, man. <laughs> you chop, 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 chop. Give me that razor. Boom, 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 boom. Show me the whole thing. Back of tree, yeah, they're saying, am I a G Pac? G out of time, yeah? Yeah. But the 18, man, I make it a 40 because I want it good. And he showed me, he told me how it was. But I had to go in there and ask. Mm -hmm. And he showed me, he taught me. It was wrong, for, you know, I was, I was still a wrong element, but that's the same concept I'm saying. Yeah. If you want to know something from anybody that's successful, you got to get up underneath them. And get exactly. taught and can get taught exactly the exactly. right way. Radio shouting. Shout